Have you ever walked along a beach, looked at the ocean, maybe seen a sunset, hiked in the mountains, looked at the beauty that's around us and wondered, how did all this come about? Well, there's a story in God's book that tells us that. This is a story in God's book that tells us how God created the world. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, the earth was empty, and it was dark, and it had no shape. And the Spirit of God hovered over the waters. God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light and saw that it was good. God separated the light from the darkness, and the light he called day, and the darkness he called night. And that was the first day. On the second day, God said, Let there be an expanse between the waters below and the waters above. And it was so. And God called the expanse sky. And on the third day, God said, Let all the waters be gathered below and, and dry land appear. And it was so. God saw it and saw that it was good. All the waters were gathered into oceans and lakes and rivers and streams and all, all the land uh, appeared. And God said, let there be vegetation that grows on the land. Let that vegetation bring seed-bearing fruit. And it was so. On the fourth day, God said, let there be lights in the sky to rule the seasons, measure the seasons and the years. And it was so. God placed the larger light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the night. And he put the stars and the moon and the sun in their places and God saw it and saw that it was good. And on the fifth day, God said, let there be fish swimming in the waters. And it was so. And let there be winged birds populating the sky. God saw it and saw that it was good, and he told the fish and the birds to reproduce and to multiply and replenish the earth. And on the sixth day, God said, let there be four-footed creatures to walk on the land. And it was so. The wild animals of the forest, the tame animals of the field. God told them to replenish and multiply, and he saw it and saw that it was good. And then God said, let us make man in our own image. God created male and female. He told them to rule over the earth. God saw his creation, all that he had created, and saw that it was very good. And on the seventh day, God rested from the labor of his creation. So the seventh day is holy to God because he rested on that day. And that is the story in God's book, How God Created the World.